Hey everybody, welcome in, and again, we have got leaks, um, now everybody knows, as you can see from the title, but uh, Meathead came through and he put in a couple of riddles in, he let this simmer for a day, he gave a riddle, riddle about uh, the great titan, uh, father, universe, and talking about uh, the golden age has arrived, and the stuff like uh, it was heavily handed towards titans and zeus and about a battle um now everyone's like okay zeus zeus hades and fighting for the titans it's but then some people in chat in the discord picked up well this is this has gone on the names not the greek names through um through hercules but they've gone on the Roman or one of the other uh, types of names, so it doesn't didn't quite sit right that it was for uh, Zeus uh, and like the Hercules franchise, and it kind of just seemed a bit too obvious since just naming Zeus. But I thought, well, maybe. Then he came through and said a farmer whose wood is stretched a hundred meters, so he's kind of like teasing these different um, different titles like hundred acre woods, but he doesn't write them that way. And, he, and in the, the descriptions, growing squashes, tomatoes, a ginger root. And it's like, well, like, Rabbit doesn't farm any of those, and he's the farmer, and about a master tradesman, and it's like, it just didn't seem right. Then, he goes off and talks about some uh, mighty volcano, and then down to, like, power will find their doom, and the ground shakes, and then there's going to be toxic air, um, <laughs> and then there's going to be, you know, a big eruption, a metal explosion, um, fleeing swiftly away, um, and then nothing they can do alone. Or alone is nothing that, that they can overcome their doom. So, what we got out of that is uh, Amazon Art ended up coming in and give me a sec. Then, here we go Amazon Art, who is one of the uh, graphic designs, the, the character design teams, he came in, he's part of the Discord as well, and he, there was a lot of chat in the Discord, people were talking about what these things could mean, and then once the Incredibles were shown, people were like, what, how? And he just kind of explains that the first riddle was Kronos Syndrome's operation to super, uh, kill supers, that was, that was what it is, and Kronos is uh, linked to that part of the mythology, and then... The second riddle um, is about the family and just describing them. So um, describing their personalities as like as those vegetables. And then the third riddle was the end fight on Syndrome's Lair, how it all goes and blows up. And I was like, oh. Um, interesting. So it's interesting now, like, this is like the real first taste that we've had of uh, Meathead coming in and giving like well off topic um little riddles like so now we know for future riddles and things like that nothing is off the table like we can go abstract that's that, that's what this was so interesting and now back to uh, the actual update is that incredibles event coming soon elastigirl gets a buff she gets a passive so a passive that grants um speed or uh, speed meter and then she also gets a leadership um who gets extra crit um uh, chance for uh, incredibles and or uh, non-incredibles any teammates and then more for non-incredibles so x amount pretty cool i like that as a leadership ability um and then on our first upgrade in Credibles, uh, character sp uh, speed meter will fill uh, when they deal crit strikes. So, as a, a leadership ability, that's going to be nuts. And this also points to the first ever leadership ability being able to be upgraded. So, everyone else has just been to unlock leadership ability. So, that's showing more for things to come. Um, after now that global's here now that they're releasing new characters and this is what they're designing and what they're leading towards so this is going to be interesting and this is going to be the first of many and then meathead gives a little um, 
show of what the Incredibles team is actually going to look like. And that's pretty cool. So let's go jump into the game. Um, we will go and look to do uh, Incredibles uh, showcase. And then we'll see how that goes. Or maybe not showcase, we'll have a little talk about the characters. So let's see, see how that goes. So... For anybody who is wanting to jump onto the official Discord, uh, where we get all those little leaks and riddles from the devs, all you need to do is go up to uh, the mail tab. Let's just make that not so loud. <laughs> Sorry if that was deafening. And then on the far right, the little news tab. And here we can find the link to the official Discord. Click on that, follow it there, you can be a part of it. There are nearly at 10k, um, 10k people on the Discord and they'd love to have more. So come for a chat, ask for help, share your progress, whatever it is that you feel like doing, or just be there for the riddles and the leaks and contact with the devs. Uh, best things about it. So I hope to see you on Discord, but... Now back to the Incredibles. They are here. They're in game. The event has just started. Um, now I will go and say, uh, Elastigirl. She is here, and now she has her uh, passive that is now working. So uh, when Violet Dash or Jack Jack takes damage, increase um, gain speed meter uh, plus three. Um, three percent. So, wow, she is potentially going to be gaining a whole lot of speed meter, which is interesting. It'll be interesting to see how much that actually affects. One, two, three, four, three or four attacks. Oh, maybe not. It's not going to be, not going to be as game breaking as I think some people think. Because it's only going to be like three or four attacks is only going to add up to it, even if the AOEs. Is only going to add up to maybe 9-12%. Um, and then at gear tier 6. So it's interesting. These are, are super high. They've added super high um, restrictions on these gear tier 6. I don't think any other passives have such a high restriction. And that's going to get an extra percent. So that's going to take up to 4%. It's a great a passive. Amazing passive. But only amazing when you're using them all together. Very high cost for that. Now, she's or her leader is also the same. Now, this is interesting. This is that the first leadership that we have seen a level added to it, level two. So normally all the rest of them are just unlock only. And boom, unlock, got the leadership ability, and which gives you 2% bonus crit chance and then 14, um, 14 crit chance if they're incredibles instead, which is a lot. That is a lot. Now... <clears throat> now for her level up one is the incredible heroes um also get extra bonuses when they get a crit strike they also get the three percent speed bar as well so that's gonna double a when they take damage but then when you deal damage and deal crit strikes with their extra boosted crit strike chance. That all together seems like it's going to be nuts. So you're going to be potentially gaining, which would have been like maybe 9 to 12 percent, potentially now deal a few crits, especially with Dash, who we'll get to soon. Anyone who can AoE do multiple, if it's 3% per crit. If he does multiple, then that will be nasty. I'm not sure. But that could potentially be nasty. So, interesting. Very interesting leadership abilities. As a team, they look like they're going to be a super solid team. They are very expensive. We're going to get into that. Uh, but, wow. Okay, let's get into it. Let's just jump straight into it. We're going to start with Mr. Incredible and go back through now 
as a character, can I just say, they, they've done an awesome job job on the art. Um, da -da, Mr. Incredible. Um, his basic seems like it does an okay amount of damage. Um, if Jack Jack is the teammate, 50% chance for to to follow up. And so that means he's going to like pretty much assist and then deal uh, deal damage to the target. So he's going to go and attack and assist. It's interesting how sometimes they, they tend to mix up their terms. Some say assist, some say follow up. I think that's what it is. Um, now his special, which I... He is looking... Like he's going to be one of the best tanks. To actually tank in the game. So Mordu. For a lot of top players. we He is hands down the best tank in the game. Because um, of what he brings. He brings so much utility. So much damage. And you don't really need a tank at the a tank tank at the end of the game. Because most things can get one shot before a tank can do anything. Now. Mr. Incredible on the other hand. He's got a two-turn uh, tank taunt, as well as gets two counter uh, counter attacks when he does it as well. But not only that, when you level him up, increase the magic of one random ability for each on each Incredibles hero teammate. So not only that, he's going to taunt, he's going to refresh everybody else, and then at max level, he's going to get an extra counter attack as well. So not only two, but three counter attacks. And buffing people. That is what you want. In a tank. Now. His next special. Showtime. Uh, deals an okay amount of damage. Nearly double of, his, double of his basic. Which is good. And then it calls one random ally to assist. And then when you level it up. It's add an extra Incredibles hero to assist as well. So it looks like you can get a couple of people to call and assist him his attack, which is is pretty decent. Is pretty decent. Um, his passive. Now this is where he gets even better. Um, when an Incredibles hero teammate. So so this is pretty much sounding like any of the Incredibles, but it's saying that it has to be a hero. So it sounds like anything with the Incredibles movie tag. But it has to be a hero, so not Syndrome. So all these guys' uh, abilities seem to be discounting Syndrome from working with them. Um, now, falls when, when that happens and they fall below 50% health, he gains Taunt for it one turn. So that is cool. When, when his family, um, and potentially Frozone, I haven't tested it, but potentially Frozone as well, when they take damage, get taunt. And as a tank, that is what you want. You want to protect your characters from getting targeted and knocked out. So as soon as one is starting to get targeted and drops below half HP, boom, taunt. Now they can't finish it off. And also he gains 15% shield. And then he's going to grab an extra 30% shield when you're um, from Violet. So it's it's a very much where they work all together. But all together, he's going to be an amazing tank. That that is, that is pretty cool. So it definitely seems like all together, they're going to be amazing. Now, he also has a leadership ability. So you're going to either have to choose from Elastigirl's or her, his. So I, re I think it's quite cool. How you can choose either parent's uh, ability, depending on how you want to run the team. Um, so they get pretty much any teammate. So this is not just incredible, but any can get 2% tenacity. That's kind of like uh, Woody's uh, bonus. And then incredibles get 14% bonus tenacity. So you can either choose, if you're live battling somebody, and they're just spamming you with bad effects, boom. Flick, flick over from the crit chance to the tenacity. Get a lot more chance to resist the bad effects that are being dropped on you. That has potential. That has potential to change mid 
battle, well not mid battles, but uh, in between battles in PvP if you're getting matched up with people to just stop, switch, ah oh, this person just keeps stunning me or charming me, uh, just boom, swap over, have a chance that you, that may not happen, you may be able to resist and then have that extra game breaking if, if the bad effects are affecting you and otherwise not, I reckon the, the crit chance is better. But also, he's also got a level 2, so these are the, both the first two that have a level 2 ability. Uh, and they do unlock at gear tier 6, only at the highest levels. So, when an Incredibles hero, so you'd again the hero, not the villains, for no syndrome, not going to work with him. Which, I kind of, it's kind of sad that you hear syndrome's getting no love, but it's it also makes a whole lot of sense because they are enemies. Um, but it'll be fun to run in together. Um, anyway, when they, when an Incredibles hero teammate gains a harmful effect, 50% chance to restore health to that teammate. So it'll be interesting to see how much health that is. But to, to have a chance to resist bad effects, and then when they do get them, uh, you've got 50% chance to increase health, that, that potentially can be very helpful in those situations, like I mentioned. So as... As far as Mr. Incredibles go, I think he is looking pretty incredible. Um, and I can't wait to see what these guys all bring. Now, let's go to Violet. She is definitely looking like a support. Um, and actually, can I really, let's just have a quick little look. 25 defense, health 36. Okay, so he looks like he's going to have a decent amount of defense and health as well. So he's looking like he's going to be a typical tank. And she's looking more of the support role um, with about the 40-ish damage, 42 damage. So for a tank, he's looking like he's doing a good amount of damage as well. Now, Violet. Her basic. I quite like her kit and her what she brings. She deals some damage, a uh, chance to inflict the um, defense down. And then when you level her up, she is going to get, this character is affected by stealth. Oh, if this character is affected by stealth, inflict vulnerable. So you're potentially going to be able to start just attack, give them vulnerable, guarantee a crit. Then that works with Mrs. Incredible and every, get more speed bar. You guys see where this is going? Um, so that is looking like it is, ooh, it's got potential. Um... Now, her special is her force field. Now, force field! Pew! Um, everybody on the team, Great Gantz, shield. Now, it looks like there's double her standard attacks worth of shield. And if that is the case, that could potentially be good for a full team's protect against two standard attacks. Uh... That could actually be pretty, pretty good. And if a teammate is below 50% health, it doubles that shield as well. So potentially four hits. So that's one thing I complained about with like the Buzz Showcase and other pretty much all other characters that shield. The shields are nowhere near worth using a special because they're all giving like a couple of K sh shield. And why do you want to use a um an ability just to protect for maybe one attack, if that? But this is all team members. This looks like it's a couple of the attacks worth of damage. So it's looking good. And looking good. And she is the character that doesn't only work with Incredibles only. There's there's no real, say, just Incredibles for in her descriptions. So it's looking like she'll be able to just get placed into any other teams. And being able to be that support character, which will be really cool. Now, boom. Her her next special is pretend I'm not here. Um, gain stealth for two turns and gain evasion. So, boom. S stealth, nobody can uh, target you. That's what stealth does. And then you gain evasion. So, if someone does an AoE, you've got that protection as well. Or a flanking attack or whatever else it might be. So they can target the ones next to you or someone else and then you can still get damage. But gaining evasion will give you that protection from that kind of AoE damage as well. So that, for her, is really cool. 
you're going to be able to protect, she's going to be able to protect herself and then sh shield up the whole team as well. And with a two and three uh, turn cooldowns, she looks like she's going to actually be able to support quite a lot. Um, and gaining stealth for two turns is going to be enough for it to, you can just keep cycling it, cycle, 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 cycle. Um, and then she's also going to be able to restore health to this character and then add more health. So she's going to be end up heal herself, stealth herself, hide away, do that, do the other ability, do that, attack other other ability, and you'll be able to cycle through all of them. That's looking pretty cool. Um, so let's carry on. Her passive, um, when a teammate falls below fifty percent health, seventy five percent chance uh, to grant to grant them shield, which equivalently looks like it's a one and a bit of her standard attacks. Uh, damage wise and then this is the one time where she has uh, something mentioned of one of her other teams when uh, ally dash falls below 50 percent uh grant grant a shield um and then also when other incredibles heroes fall below 50 percent grant them a shield so i'm not sure if we they'll get double the shield um so it's interesting that they they separate it out but I'm sure it'll probably be the most uh, lot of shield for Dash, a good, decent amount for the others, and then maybe that standard amount on top is what I'm thinking. I don't know. We've got to jump in and work that. We'll do that in another video when we actually get to unlock them and play with through through them. But as a support, she is looking amazing, and she can fit into nearly any other team and do her job which is cool and it's awesome to see so <clears throat> enough of that let's jump in to jack jack he is <sighs> when i saw his kit i was like oh that's amazing and his an and look at the animation that is so cool um all of his different styles um now let's jump through his abilities when i saw this i was just like i want him and then i saw that he's like that super exclusive i was like no if any of them i wanted him oh well um <laughs> we'll just have to see how that goes in my event video so stay tuned if you want to see if i get them um now deal up to uh 44 damage which is higher than uh than the standard other support and the tanks um which is seems like it's going to be a decent amount of damage but then also on top of that 50 percent chance to do in continuous damage on his standard attacks and then that's going to deal up to 50 damage over two turns as well so that's like nearly doubling the damage that he's dealing out and then 20 percent chance for an extra attack and then if you read in his abilities um he also gets extra 20 percent chance for every incredibles hero ally so having four of them on that's going to be an extra 80 percent plus that 20 that's 100 percent chance for a follow-up attack so boom boom two attacks he looks like he's going to be dealing damage um now this looks so cool uh, polymorph i'm guessing that's going to look exactly like the little animation when we clicked on him um let's just get that up again because it's so awesome i'm guessing it's going to be like that because as we read here deal up to 150 damage which is looking like a, a very decent amount of damage that's like what three times is standard damage and then over three hits so it'd be 50 50 50 uh, 50 percent chance instead of just a standard standard damage he's going to get one of these abilities so either monster jack jack uh deal 150 plus inflict vulnerable so more crits more more all of that and then fire jack jack which is going to do 130 which is a little bit less damage but also stack three lots of continuous damage and that's going to be awesome and then at level two he unlocks metal jack jack which is going to inflict stun for two turns. So 50% chance for one of the, each of those. That is cool. That is so cool. And this is one of the first ones to do more than one turn of stun. So that's amazing. Wow. I'm I'm loving, loving Jack-Jack. I want him. But he's the super exclusive. He's going to be the hardest one to get. And then he's got another special uh, deal uh, 125 damage. Um, so both of his skills are about four bars as well. So 
it's going to take a decent charging up to get them, but it seems like they do a decent amount of damage as well. Um, and yet again, uh, three hits and then convert up to one helpful effect on the target um, to the opposite harmful effect. So if they have got haste, you're going to change it to slow. If they have got heal, it's going to go to continuous damage, if it's whatever it might be. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. If they've got crit chance up, it's going to go to crit chance down. If it's got guaranteed crit, it's going to be no crit um, debuff. So that's cool. And then at level 2, unlocks continuous damage on top of it. That's what I want to man. I, you all know that I love my continuous damage team builds. Uh, if you haven't seen any of those, check my other videos. I have done a good three or so uh, different continuous damage team builds videos. So check those out. And I want I want him for those. So he, I think he is potentially going to be able to get used in other decks as well. Other teams. Now, his passive is that um, on turn start, 50% chance to get to gain guaranteed crit offense up or speed for one turn. Um, so, or haste, which I'm guessing that's going to be. So, that's kind of like Jack's, what we see in Jack Sparrow with him flipping the coin and getting all those power, those powers. So, he'll get one of them. Um, or is it all of them? I'm not sure. Jack Sparrow is one as one. I'm not sure if his one's going to be all of them or none. And then also when you level him up, he's going to gain extra 10% um, base potency per Incredibles hero ally. So so what that does is he's going to be inflicting his bad effects. And it's going to be crazy. So well, I, I can't wait to see. Um, pew, 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 pew. Um, I just want to check quickly before we move on to Dash, that's the final one. Let's go to Jack Sparrow and we're going to have a look at his, um, his passive here. So on turn start, 25% chance, uh, to, uh, do his effect and gain one help, random helpful effect for two turns. So it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually say all of the different ones that it does for Jack Jack. So maybe he'll gain them all. If he gains them all, whoo, 50% chance to gain them all. Or maybe it's one, I'm not sure, we'll have to wait and see. So, excited for that. Um, now, let's go back down to Jet Dash, who is like the exclusive. So, Dash is like the exclusive this time. And Jack Jack is like the super exclusive, which is crazy. It's the first time we've seen this. So many characters added at one event, which is amazing. Um, now, his basic ability deals a good amount of damage, so it's it's near, it's a little bit more than um, Violet, um, a little bit less, I believe, than Mr. Incredible, but it's got 50% chance to chain to an adjacent opponent, and pretty much doubles the attack, which is, that's great, and then gain one charge um, for each hit, so up to a maximum of 10. So he's going to be getting charges and then gain double charges on a crit strike. So if he crits, boom, boom, doubles up his, 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 his charges. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of crit support, speed gaining support, all of these types of things with the full team. Um, and now with his special, it does a small amount of damage, but it does it, um, does it five times. So it goes boom, 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 boom which will add up. Now, these type of attacks are not so good at versus defensive characters that have high defense, because it means that you're going to do a lot less damage a few times, but they are still good. Um, and then he's got gain one charge for each hit, which is going to be five, and then double on crit strikes for a maximum of 10. So he's going to be just put, grabbing his charges like anything. And then... When you level him up, he's going to get 10% bonus crit chance per Incredibles hero ally. Boom, four for a full, full team, four of them, 40% extra crit chance. Put that on top of uh, Elastigirl, another 14, it's 55% chance on top of whatever he'll naturally have. Um, so 
five percent natural that's a high starting uh, crit rate so he'll probably end up with like about 15 or so so that means he's going to have like a 60 to 70 percent crit chance on the, that move that that's like big bad wolf territory on crits um so that's amazing he he's looking nuts now his <laughs> this, this is going to be interesting um now his next special the dash um deals a high amount of damage and then for each charge on his character chain to an adjacent opponent or an additional opponent not adjacent additional so any of them and it's going to go <laughs> so if he's got max 10 he's going to hit nearly could hit nearly everyone twice or a few of them but, 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 but. that is a lot of damage that's a lot of damage output he's going to be a beast He's going to be a super glass cannon by the look of it. Um, and at the end of it, you lose all your charge charges. But then you'll be like, he is looking like you're going to be able to just stack them in a fast in a couple of them. By the time you've used this and it's charged out one, two, three, four, five, five bars, he is going to already be like fully stacked again. Um, and then when you level him up for each crit, uh, strike gain one charge on end of ability so you're gonna lose all the charges and then every time there's a crit crit he's gonna gain some more so he might gain one or two or three and then he's gonna be stacked again which this is nuts this is nuts um full team is looking like they're gonna be amazing uh his passive is gain a 10 percent bonus evasion uh for each charge on his character so if he's got 10 100 percent gonna be dodging um now on evade lose two charges so every time he evades he's gonna be drop drop but man he's gonna he's gonna be gaining them so fast so he's gonna be glass cannon that has evades built in kind of like aladdin although the aladdin is not so much a glass cannon he's just a super good attacker that has a decent amount of hp as well and heals whereas this guy it looks like he's gonna be a lot more of a glass cannon but like super fast, even faster than anyone in game. And on top of that, he is going to be getting evades, which Aladdin was already a pain enough. He, let's, let us see. And then when you level him up, he uh, gets a speed by 10% increase on charging. So boom, hit a one or two charges in a turn, 10, 20% speed bar. Um, so not only is he going to be evading, Hitting harder, hitting more, charging, speeding up. Well, what else is there with him? Like that is that is the power he's gonna be. And he doesn't look like he has to be in an Incredibles team either. So it's gonna be like Elastigirl and Mr. Incredible are gonna be like the base standard for the whole team. And then the other the three children are looking like they can mix and match with other teams. And then let's just check here. His speed is 115 on start level one unlock what there are characters in game that don't even start that high um so let's have a look at jack jack he is 100 and that's that's fast as well and then she is 90 and mr incredible is 90 um now let's give give this some context if we sort them by speed here hades starting this off at 130 the fastest naturally in the game without um without shan yu's speed buff and then shan yu and the kingdom characters with his speed buff will be the next fastest and then things like merida quora jack sparrow scar leading your way down but he starts at 115 so he is already going to be up at above jack sparrow at level one unlock no gear no speed boost he's gonna just go fastest in the game he is gonna be so fastest having the most turns hitting hard gaining charges evading he is looking like he is gonna be he is gonna be important in the future uh wow that's, that's crazy like even jack jack starting at 100 
they they are looking like they are they are fast. They, these are definitely going to be the the new the new breed of characters coming in after global that are going to be outclassing all of these older characters. And so for anyone who is saying like oh beta beta players that's unfair all these new these new characters coming out we're all going to be on the same level of getting them and well we do have a side advantage yes not quite the same because i do have a last year already but eventually after a couple more of these events we won't and these new characters are, are looking like they're going to be bigger and better and until the other old characters get buffs these ones the the power that they are bringing the power that they're bringing is nuts so let's just have a quick little look i will do an event video but the event is here um and you do have a chance to get them all um you can get max tokens here from the first one and for her one there we have seen some events in the past where they have capped it but here they don't and here you can get the dash tokens and the coins to unlock the chests one thing i am going to say is they are limiting it even more so with with the lion king that we saw the onwards that we came out we which we which we saw these chests we were like okay this is cool this is good they had nice rates decent to pull at uh you could get your characters up quite well then it came the lion king and decent rates as well i was very happy with the rates on those chests and then came the toy story which then they reduced the other characters from down to one or two from I think before there was like one to five or one to and then Lion King was one to three. I could be wrong on the onwards, I have to go back and rewatch. Um but then the Toy Story took it down to one to two and then it's kinda of like, wow, you're really limiting it. And now they've done the same with the with the Incredibles, but also if we check the rates here, um you're only guaranteed dash tokens. But he is the guarantee that you're going to get every time you open up a box. So he is the exclusive that you're going to be getting through that part of the event. And then you're going to have a chance for second options. You're going to have a chance for more of dash tokens. So I think that's quite nice to get more of them. Um, probably going to be end up getting four or three majority of the time. So that means you're probably going to be getting uh oh no that is that is the that is the his tokens and then 100 percent. so you're gonna 100 percent chance to get him you're also going to get uh the one or two tokens of the others which heavily weighted towards elastigirl and then um a little bit less chance to get mr and uh, violet and then you've got getting some gold uh getting some potions uh, getting uh, some of the gear but you've got the 50 percent chance for jack jack and the they're low tokens as well they're not high they are low and this seems to be the only way to get them so 50 percent chance to get these low tokens he unlocks at 80 that is a lot of chests that you're going to have to put in to even get near him or get super lucky so wow i do i do see that yes these characters do have they do have a lot of characters in here but man it's going to be hard to get them and the prices look like they're going to be up also uh during these events i will do an event video um but it's it's looking difficult um it's looking very very difficult so i'm hyped a lot of people have been waiting for these incredibles and they are incredible they look incredible they they as a team all together they look incredible all together they look like they're going to be potentially game breaking potentially can take over uh kingdom at max level and if you can get them all up but at the cost and at how low and how small the chances are to getting them that is looking like you're gonna have only people that invest a lot a lot a lot of money are gonna have them right up 
um, and then their packs are here, which is like looking like now the standard pack um, of of guineas. Although the rates, I've noticed that here the rates have changed as well. Last times they were like uh, I think um, ten ten at like fifty ish percent, and then twelve, and then um, the others adding up to like more chances up to up to about twenty percent. And then for the last 10%, then you've got the last few super high amounts. Whereas now, it's pretty much capping you. Majority is going to be 9 or 10 tokens. And then you've only got 2 and 1% for the other higher ones. So they are heavily capping the amount that you got. Possibly because of what we have seen from some people, some heavy spenders in this game have been maxing seven star uh, onward characters, Lion King characters, um, <clears throat> and the likes and toy story characters and maybe they're seeing like well you know what maybe we need to raise our make things harder make people spend more if they want to get them wow so it's going to be that little bit harder to get them all a little bit harder to get them all up your chances are lower expect the least is what i want to say expect to get nine or ten um and we're going to be doing some pulls in my event video so can't wait to do that and can't wait. Hopefully you join me. What do you guys think of the Incredibles um, as a team? I'd love to hear from you all. Let me know in the comments down below who is your favorite, why they're your favorite, and what do you actually think of them all and the way that they're moving with us. So can't wait to hear from you all and we'll see you soon.